I don't know if anyone will ever hear this. It's all over. I'm the only one left. I'm going to continue to broadcast for as long as I am able. If I'm right, you should be able to pick up the signal right across the valley. The event has left markers. We don't understand it yet, but we're going to keep working to try and understand it. You can use them to find what you're looking for. The answers, they're all here. The answers are in the light. This is a special announcement by the Emergency Measures Committee. Due to exceptional circumstances, radio and television in this area has been brought under the control of the EMC as per the Crisis Preparedness and Action Bill of 1982. Keep your radio and television on at all times. Stay indoors and avoid contact with other people. Do not attempt to telephone outside your local area. Do not panic and remain civil and calm. Stay tuned to this station for updates. I'm trying to do my job. You two will be the only staff on site for this rotation. I'm just saying, if the main gate's power fails, then there's no way in or out of the observatory. That's why there are backup generators. Jesus, why the hell are we even discussing this? Just don't you come running to me if you get locked in. If we get locked in, we won't be able to come running to you, will we? 
You let us worry about the clever stuff, and you can concentrate on sweeping up leaves and changing light bulbs. Happy? Now piss off. Ah, so. That was unnecessary. Just because you're angry with me doesn't mean you have to take it out on everyone else. Kate, can we just talk about this? No. Stephen, I'm done. I just want to get out of this place, and tonight is our best chance of doing that. You prep the arrays. I'm heading up to Tower 6. Kate. I love you. You know that, right? Yeah, I know that. Come on, let's get started. From that, we can assume that they really are serious about this whole quarantine thing. If Mrs. Boughton wandered off that way before they closed the road, I suspect we'll never find her. Not until this whole thing blows over. But it's more than a little odd. I mean, this is Yorton, for goodness sake. There was no need for them to be so rude. Well, if they are so concerned that they are willing to close off the roads, I suspect they would argue that there is every need. What is certain is that for the time being, none of us are going anywhere. But he had a rifle, a soldier with a rifle, in Shropshire. The world's gone stark raving mad. I've a good mind to write to my MP. You do that, Barb, and I'll personally deliver it for you, once this blockade is removed anyway. Come on, Barb. I can't spend all day chasing pensioners around the valley. The surgery won't open itself. I need to grab some paracetamol when we get back as well. Fucking headache all of a sudden. Hello? Kate, if you can hear this, you need to shut down the optical array. It's using the observatory as a conduit to reach us, and it started spreading its range beyond the valley. Kate, we can't afford to let it do that. It's getting stronger. I'm going to call Clive back, and I'm going to force him to order the strike. I just don't see what other choice we have. God knows Clive, if can you hear me? We need help. Who are you? Jesus, get off the floor! Get off the floor!
so hard on yourself. We've all had rejections. You haven't. <laughs> Come on. We'll look at the figures, tighten up the data, and resubmit. Your core idea is sound. You just got the number slightly wrong. <sighs> Don't patronize me. I'm not patronizing you. I think you are a brilliant man, Dr. Appleton. Listen. I'm here, right? We're together, you and me. The alignment event tomorrow. It's yours, okay? You saw the opportunity, you ran the numbers. Even if they can't see it. I'm proud of you. Is that supposed to make me feel better? See you then. Look on the bright side, uh, around here. <laughs> You're a hero. Prodigal son returns, right? <laughs> I'm surprised they haven't erected a statue in your honor yet. <laughs> oh, you can laugh all you want. But I'll bet the parish council have a subcommittee working on that right now. <laughs> <laughs> Reminds me of high school. <laughs> Seeing Mars for the first time. That same rush of excitement. <laughs> My hands are shaking. Everything all right? Get out of my way. Where's Kate? Where do you think she is? Stephen, what's going on? Screw Kate. It's all her fault anyway. What's that mark on your face? Stephen! Stephen! I saw you doing that. Stay away from me. Don't come near me. This is people's property. You're scaring them. It's all over the village. It's got into everything. It's so fast. What are you talking about? It's traveling down the wires. Dear God, man, you've lost your mind. Where is Kate? What have you done with her? Don't you understand? It's breaching the quarantine and adapting. Give me that bloody can. Hand it over, Appleton. No, get off and run, Sam. Stop it. You little shit. It's Give mine. The Give me the Stop can. Stop it. I need Blow it. up! starting to manifest itself everywhere. Stephen, come back! Oh, Christ!
away from the main road. Not many people are moving around now. I was looking for Dr. Wade. Listen, Frank. I don't know what's happened, but your Stephen seems to think he's responsible. <sighs> I reckon he is. He said, uh, Kate's still up at the observatory, but the gates are locked. And Frank, there's going to be a rescue soon, I'm sure of it. They'll send planes or something. Well, they'll send planes, all right. This pattern of his, we're in the center of it. Which means if they intend to stop it, we're right in the firing line. Meg, come and have a look at this. Oh, I don't believe it. Charlie? Jeremy reckons someone had been raiding all the empty houses. He said a load of stuff had been taken. What, sir? It looks like someone's been collecting their own supplies. Bastard! Well, we've got enough stock in the warehouse to keep the entire village going for months. We should get a truck. What, and go and get all of it now? Yeah, why not? It's Appleton. It's that bloody crackpot Stephen Appleton. I'm gonna fucking do him. Sam, it's fine. We'd better get moving before the weather turns. You come in. We'll swing by the camp and get Rachel on the way back. Listen to you. Well, I really don't see what it has to do with me at all. The village looks up to you. I just think with what's been happening with Mr. Coles and Mrs. Boughton and the others, that people need somewhere to talk, to feel safe. Perhaps they don't think that your church is somewhere they feel particularly safe. I don't need your forgiveness, Wendy. Or theirs. Whosoever thou art that judgest, for wherein thou judgest another, thou condemnest thyself. Romans chapter 2, verse 1. Beware of practicing your righteousness before other people in order to be seen by them. Matthew chapter 6, verse 1. It's not my judgment you should be worried about, Father. But fine. I'll talk to Barbara. Ask her to put a note up in the surgery about an extra service. Will that do?
Are you there? Can you hear me? Are, are you out there, you bastard? You got them all? Uh, you got them all. Christ, help me, oh Lord. Give me strength. Hello? Hello, is, is anyone there? Is anyone still there? Oh, oh. You are still here then. I should have expected that. Come on then. Let's get this over and done with. I've got my parishioners to attend to. Their line has gone out through all the earth and their words to the end of the world. In them hath he set a tabernacle for the sun. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Oh God. Oh God. 